to begin with here, you're going to go ahead and see these three graphs. These should give you a great visual indication of what's going on with an email and what might be cause for concern. So to begin with there, there's going to be the risk section. Then below that would be phishing and then malware. And each of these will be color coded for you as well too to give you an idea of what's out there. Certainly if you do see anything that involves phishing or malware, certainly is, this is a great spot to dive into it, take a closer look. Now when it comes to the various emails here themselves, how it works with email is when an email is sent in to the domain, when an email is sent out from the domain, sent within the domain, in near real time that's going to go ahead and be picked up on. And then emails are retained within this main Gmail tab for, not, for four hours, generally speaking. And then for emails that do contain risk, phishing, malware, or an email attachment, they're going to be retained for a longer 90-day time period there. Now there are additional actions that can be taken. With this actions ribbon here, you also do have the ability to delete, quarantine, restore, or share via email. And you can delete, quarantine, or restore up to 10 emails at a time here. A lot of different options as well to search on here. So you can search by things like your subject, sender, even the email message ID. And there's a lot of different filter options, including some great quick filters, looking for emails with phishing or malware or risk. But you can also look at certainly incoming, outgoing, shared within domain emails as well too. And certainly you can expand beyond that with the filter button as well. And for emails that do contain risk or any kind of issue, if you go ahead and click into them, you notice here in the message body, it's got this red icon to go ahead and let you know that there is some kind of issue with this email. In this case, there's risk within the message body. You can take a look at the risk from here as well.